All right, it's Manny Lamar from Mall. A lot of people are having trouble with dual Skywalkers in Arena, so I'm gonna show you two teams that I use to beat Padme, double Anakin. Um, of course, you can use Darth Revan if you do the turn order right, but I wanted to give you a couple of other alternatives, so I'm going over my Jedi here. Um, this is the team that I'm going to be practicing on. It is a Relic 7 Jedi Knight Anakin and a Relic 7 General Skywalker. Um, Padme, G13, Relic 3, GK, and Ahsoka. Everybody's G13. Everyone's got some relics on them. All right, so that's my buddy that I'm going to be practicing on. And... This is Ahsoka. So Ahsoka could be modded differently, but still a pretty solid team. Padme's at 313, I think. And here is the first test. We're going to use Jedi Knight Revan. Shouldn't really come as a surprise to anyone that it does work. It just takes some time. All right, so we're just going to do really the standard. Um, Although I guess a lot of people aren't running GMY with Jedi Knight Revan anymore, but certainly the older breed. Uh, this is a very common team in Arena. It takes some time. You gotta chew through that protection, which is obviously very difficult. Uh, doing basics. We're doing basics. Uh, and then AoEs whenever we can. Anytime there's a counter or an out-of-turn attack, obviously he's going to get that protection back up. But And then spread the buffs around. Same thing. And I like to go for Jedi Knight Anakin first because he really is the most dangerous tune on this team. Yeah, it's going to take a while, but it is doable. Spread the buffs around. Yeah, keep spreading the buffs around. Ahsoka's going to take a lot of those off whenever she goes. But, woo! British Savior. Mm -hmm. I thought I would do a little bit more on that one. All right, so I lost GMY. That's fine. I'll get him back up when I get back around to Joe Lee. Almost there. Luckily, I mean, you have to have a pretty high DPS uh, GMY, or else you're going to time out without question. Um, so from here, you can go for either the other Anakin, but really, Padme, I think, is the easier one to go for. Um, so we'll, we'll do it a couple different ways, but yeah, switch it over, get rid of it and go for Padme. A lot of people have her modded for health, so she's going to be a little tanky, but once she's out of the picture, it's game over. Uh, and that's why I take her second after Jedi Knight Anakin because you don't want to take her out and then he just rocks everybody. All right, so after that, it is pretty easy. Um, I don't know if timeout is an issue. It might be, depending on your gear, mod, and relic matchups. But... Should you should be able to do it um, if you're if you're within range of the top of your arena, you should have this team uh, available and viable already. So it shouldn't really take a whole lot of maneuvering to get you into a position where you can use this team to beat a double Anakin Padme team. All right, so we'll just finish it up and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, next one. 
the return of Bastila lead yet again. I think this one is actually easier than the Jedi Knight Revan lead. I, I really do. Same principle. Uh, you're starting off going for Jedi Knight Anakin. you got to take that big DPS out. Uh, it's going to take some time. Go with the basics. Uh, you can call GMY to get the buffs. It's going to give uh, your target protection again. But if you get the buffs on him, you can spread him around. He'll actually end up doing more damage in the end. Spread him. Spread him like herpes. Even though Ahsoka just wiped him out. But Alright. So this is actually going a little bit faster, I think. And there we go. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. Switch it over to GMY. Spread them around like herpes. And then the next focus we get, we're going to go for Padme. I don't even think... Yeah, with the Bastille Elite, I haven't even had to burn Savior yet. So we're in pretty good shape so far. try Ahsoka this time. Not really sure what the motivation behind that is. Oh, there's my savior burn. Um, yeah, because, I don't know. She just keeps on sucking all my buffs away, so you know what? Fuck her. We're gonna take her out. Ahsoka with counter is uh, actually pretty shit target to go after. In hindsight. <laughs> but, whatever. Alright, maybe... Special can take her out. Nope, that's basic. She'll go out. Get everybody up just so I don't lose anybody. Okay. So, this one I did a very different um, kill order. I did Ahsoka second. Let's see, who do I want to hit third? Spread those buffs around. I mean, I guess I have to hit GK until focus is back up, right? So. There we go. And now we'll go for Padme. Well, I really want to knock her out with that. This will. See ya. All right. Um, so this one actually takes about just as long, but I definitely feel much more firmly in control with this Bastila lead. Uh, the 200% protection to start with is a nice counterweight to Padme's constant protection up stuff. Uh, actually, I think it took a little longer, honestly, but definitely felt a lot safer. Okay, and bye. Alright, so those are those two. Of course, the last one should come as no surprise. General Grievous, but with Watt Tambor. Um, Magna's gonna die. That is a foregone conclusion. Magna's gonna die. So what I did was throw Watt Tambor in here to revive Magna, uh, just so I could keep the train going a little bit. Um, and then it's just, I mean, luckily there's a lot of AOE on this team, even without General Grievous. So it's pretty easy, actually. Even if you end up losing Magna in the end, um, I think you should be able to pull out a 19 on this. Sorry, I'm, excuse me, I'm pouring myself some coffee. It's very early in the morning, and by very early I mean 9.30, and I haven't had coffee yet. So, 
Uh, I put the weapon tech on B1 to get him going faster and to have him do a whole lot more damage. Put the health tech on GG. Because he obviously benefits quite a bit from that. And then when he's alive, I get the taunt tech up on Magna for however long he is alive. God, it's actually not 9.30. It's closer to 10.30. What have I done with my day? Holy shit. Yeah. See? Beauty. Um, this is going to be a little bit tougher if you don't have a tanky walk. Because if Anakin can wipe him out with his AoE, you're going you're to have a little bit of a problem. Um, what? based on his kit, should be modded for health, but I have mine modded for protection, um, just to keep him out of the grave. But as you can see, obviously no surprise, pretty easy counter to double Anakin's under Padme. Hope that helps. Um, I actually think that these are easier than Darth Revan. <laughs>